Oh my God. $653, that's what's left. Trying to see Hans Zimmer's live tour? Yeah, me too. Emphasis on trying. Getting stuck in the queue, seats disappearing before you can select them, prices skyrocketing. Unfortunately, this isn't new when it comes to ticket sales for pretty much any high demand artist, and Hans Zimmer definitely fits in that category. He is the top grossing composer at the box office worldwide and is credited on more than 100 films that have racked up billions at the box office over the decades. Inception, Gladiator, Dune, Pirates of the Caribbean, and The Lion King, just to name a few. His live shows are known to be intense and immersive, and they've even been described as rock concerts at times. Oh, and he has toured in the U.S. for seven years, so yeah, we Film Score fans are just a little excited. But when I tried to get tickets myself, this is how it went. I'm just waiting for the little pop-up down here that says ticket availability is extremely limited. And there it is. Great. $460. $833. $597. $1,300. So what is it about an orchestral tour that has so many people eager to go and prices increasing by the minute? Well, like any kind of music, film scores can have a huge emotional effect on us, and we can have favorite instrumental pieces just like we can have favorite songs to belt out in the car or at karaoke. According to one study, film scores are one of the most powerful emotional prompts in film and can have a profound, even subconscious effect on viewers. Even if music isn't always the focal point of a scene, it can still operate under the radar of consciousness, which actually makes its effect on us even more intense. And when it comes to Hans Zimmer, there's no shortage of recognizable themes, whether it's the sounds of your childhood or more recent blockbusters. Most of us probably recognize at least some of his music, so it's no wonder why his concert would draw a similar amount of interest as a traditional band or solo artist. As for me, I did finally manage to get one face value ticket, but it took over an hour. As of this post, tickets are on general sale and some of the resale prices are as high as $2,932, at least for the New York City date, though that number will hopefully go down as the tour gets closer.